Hey traders, welcome back to my channel, Learn and Trade Forex. In today's video, we'll discuss the powerful techniques that involve using a weekly time frame to identify support and resistance levels for our daily time frame trades. By incorporating this strategy, we can enhance our trading decisions and potentially boost our profitability as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now, before we dive into the specifics, let's quickly recap the significance of support and resistance levels. Now, support acts as a floor, preventing price from falling further. While resistance acts as a ceiling, preventing prices from rising further. Identifying these levels is crucial as they can give us valuable insights into the market sentiment and potential price reversals. Now, the weekly time frame is a powerful tool that allows us to gain a broader perspective on price movement. By switching from the daily chart to the weekly chart, we can identify key support and resistance levels that hold greater significance for our daily chart trades. These levels are often respected by the market and can provide excellent entry as well as exit points. Now to identify these levels, start by marking major swing highs and lows on the weekly chart. These points represent areas of significant buying or selling pressure. Once identified, we can draw horizontal lines at these levels, creating our support and resistance zones. Alrighty guys, so let me show you guys how to draw the support and resistance levels on the weekly time frame. okay? So basically what you're looking for, you're looking for swing highs and swing lows in the market that will reflect as support and resistance levels, not only on the weekly, but when we pan down to the daily time frame, you'll see how they line up with the daily levels as well. Okay, so we've already put in this swing high right here. And if we're looking at current price data, we can bring that down a little bit because this right here would be the, the, the most relevant swing high okay and we already got this swing low right here in okay so now what we want to do we want to draw support and resistance levels in this area right here because remember this is the weekly time frame so this is this is this is from from line to line if you're using mt4 or mt5 from line to line you're looking at a whole year of price data so we want to go in and we want to mark swing highs so here's your swing highs you have a swing high here and a swing high there this also lines up with this previous swing low. So that's how you put in the levels, guys. You just want to look for swing highs and swing, swing lows in the market. They should jump out to you on the larger time frames, but you know, sometimes you do have to search for them somewhat. But here you go, right here. That's a swing right here. And you had a swing here and a swing here. So you have support. You have a little uh, support right here. Resistance, resistance. So that's basically what it looks like to put in your support and resistance levels. And again, guys, in order to get really good at this stuff, you have to spend time with the charts and you have to practice on it. So you have a swing here that serves as support, resistance, resistance right here. So you just mark it up your swing highs and your swing lows in the market. Here's the swing. I probably would bring this down a little bit right here because we have resistance, support, resistance. And that's pretty much it, guys. And you can, you know, you can kind of play with these levels a little bit, bring that up a little bit, give it a little space here. But that is how you mark your support and resistance levels on your weekly time frame. Let me not forget this swing right here. Bam. So that's a level right there. And it looks like we're almost at support, uh, approaching support right here on this, uh, on this chart. Okay, guys. So. That is how you mark your support and resistance levels. Now that we have our weekly support and resistance levels marked, let's see how we can utilize them for our daily time frame trades. Now, when analyzing the daily chart, play, pay close attention to how price interacts with these zones. 
Alrighty guys, so now we're back on the daily time frame. Now we switch from the weekly back to the daily time frame. And you can just take a look at how these levels begin to line up perfectly. Uh, let me switch back to the weekly to show you guys what I mean. So here's the levels that we put in on the weekly time frame earlier. And now when I go to the daily chart, all right, let's pull back a little bit. So we can see exactly how these levels begin to line up and they're almost perfect with the daily time frame. Now, sometimes you do have overruns of the level, which is you know, often referred to as a stop hunt or uh, market makers going up, grabbing some liquidity here. And um, yeah, that does happen. But for the most part, these levels lined up pretty good. All righty. So now when price, when price approaches a support and resistance level on the daily time frame, it's important to look for potential buying opportunities, okay? Buying or selling opportunities. However, it's crucial to wait for confirmation, such as like a bullish candlestick or a bearish candlestick, um, or like maybe patterns or, or like maybe your momentum indicators, whatever you use, you just don't want to blindly trade off levels, but you want to use these levels as a leading indicator. So for instance, let me explain to you. So if I go here, um, I can see, let me pick this, let me pick a good level here. Okay. So look right here at this, uh, this, uh, level of support right here. So I saw price was coming down to this level of support and keep in mind, if we look back here, this level was all would have been already marked right so price came to this level of support it gave us this doji candle right here then it gave us this big bullish this big bullish engulfing candle right so that could have been an indicator that could have been a trigger that price wanted to you know bounce off this support level and go long so these are the type of indicators or these are, th uh, are the type of price action you want to look for at these levels combined with your uh what whichever indicators you may use like a moving average or you may use a momentum indicator or you know whatever you want to use whatever you use you know whatever you i always say whatever you use is fine just know why you're using that particular indicator but you always want to look at price as your first indicator so again if we watch price approach this level right here, then it gave us this huge, nice bearish engulfing candle, which gave us an indication that price wanted to reverse from this level. OK, so this is the significance and purpose of these levels. They call support and resistance levels or what you call leading indicators, because when price gets around these levels, you just want to get a little nosy. You want to get a little nosy. So as we can see here, we have a support level here. So price soon to be approaching this support level. So when it gets around here, we want to get a little nosy. We have we we expect price to, you know, reverse off this level, not saying that price has to reverse off the level, but we can have an expectancy that price may reverse off this level. So we go looking for evidence that lets us know price wants to reverse off this level. Maybe we'll get a oversold condition on a momentum indicator and the uh, momentum may move up or we may get like a, um, a, some type of bullish, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Bullish candle here that shows us price wants to go up and maybe go back to this level here. So those are the types of things that you're going to be looking for when prices begin to approach this level or these levels, I should say. So, guys, in conclusion to this video, incorporating the weekly time frame into our daily trading strategy can provide us with a significant edge in the Forex market. By identifying key levels of support and resistance on the weekly chart, we can make quality trading decisions when we drop down to our daily time frame and wait for good signals. This will ultimately need, lead to good trades and continued trading success. All right, guys, I'll see you guys on the next lesson.